Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Satya, watch out. The author is Yamini Vijayan. The illustrator is Vishnu M. Nair and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Satya, watch out. Who is Satya? Who do you think it is? I think it must be this boy here. His name is Satya. What does he have to watch out for? Let's see. Satya can't stay still. He runs and jumps and spins and rolls and falls. So here we have Satya. He seems to be moving in many different ways. He's running, he's jumping, he's spinning, and he is rolling. And then finally, what happens? He falls. That's why someone is telling him to watch out, be careful. Sit quietly for a minute, says Appa. If you get hurt, don't come crying to me, says Akka. So here are his father and sister, Appa and Akka, telling him to be quiet, not move around so much because you might get hurt. Don't you dare break anything, says Tata. You're disturbing the class, says his teacher. So more people are telling him to be quiet and be still, right? His tata, his grandfather, his teacher, they're all telling him, don't break things, don't move around so much. And because he's also disturbing other people when he does this. But what can Satya do? if his hands and legs are always dancing. So Satya's hands and legs want to keep moving. He doesn't want to sit still. So what can he do? He has to move, no? What does he do? Today is Sunday. It's Satya's favorite day of the week. The day he goes to the farm where Amma works. So the day is Sunday and on Sundays, Satya's mother, Amma, goes to the farm to work and Satya goes with her. It's a long walk to the farm through secret up and down paths, open fields, thick forests, and gently flowing streams. So now we know why Satya likes to go to the farm with his mother. It's a long walk to get there. And it's not even just a straight walk. You have to climb hills, you have to go up and down, through some fields and through the thick forests and by streams. Satya hops like a hare and sprints like a deer. The mud is squishy. Be careful, says Amma. So Satya is now having fun on his way to the farm. He first hops, hopping meaning quick, short jumps. And then he starts sprinting. Sprints meaning to run very fast. You can, you can run small distances very fast. And his mother tells him to be careful because the mud is squishy. He might slip and fall. He crawls like a centipede and slithers 
like a snake. Look out for thorns, says Amma. So next, Satya is crawling. A centipede is one of those creatures that has a long body with many, many, many legs. And he is crawling like it. Crawling meaning to move with your body very close to the ground using your hands and knees. And that's how he's moving. And then next he slithers like a snake. A slithering means to slide almost without even using your hands and legs. You're just using your body to move forward like a snake. And so his mother tells him to watch out for thorns because his body is so close to the ground and he's going through all these plants that may have thorns. He swings like a spider and leaps like a langur. Whee! Use the strong branches, my little monkey, says Amma. So next, what is Satya doing? He's jumping from tree to tree. And how is he doing that? He is grabbing onto the branches. He is swinging from the branches and then he leaps from one branch to another. Leap meaning a jump. It's a jump very fast out of a surface. So he is leaping from one tree to another and having fun. And his mother tells him to use the strong branches because if the weak branches break, Satya will fall down from the tree. He paddles like a duck and swims like a frog. Stay in the shallows, okay, says Amma. Next, what is Satya doing? He is going into the stream where he is paddling. Paddling is to move your hands and feet in shallow water to be able to swim forward. And he is also swimming like a frog. And his mother tells him to stay in the shallow end because in the deep part of the water it might be too strong for him to swim too deep and so his mother tells him to be careful he climbs like a lizard and jumps like a goat don't slip says amma next what is satya doing he is climbing these hills like a lizard. Have you seen a lizard? How they climb on walls with nothing to hold on to? That's how it looks like Satya is climbing this hill and then he is jumping from one step to another like a goat. And his mother tells him to be careful and not slip and fall down. Satya flaps his arms like wings and tries to fly away. He imagines himself soaring and gliding like a vulture. So what is Satya trying next? He tries to fly, but he can't fly, you know. You and I and Satya can't fly, so he is imagining it. It's all in his mind. He is imagining himself soaring, flying very high and gliding. So when you fly without flapping your wings, you're just holding on to the air. You're letting the wind carry you along. That's like gliding, like a vulture. A vulture is a type of big bird that prefers to glide. It doesn't flap its wings too much. Late in the evening, when the sun sets and crickets begin to hum, it's time to go home. Tired Satya climbs onto his mother's back. They return through the up and down paths, fields, forests and streams. So in the evening, when the sun has set and 
crickets, these little insects uh, that come out at night and they start making this humming sound, you know that it is time for them to go home. And so Satya and his mother are going home. Except this time Satya is so tired from running and jumping and leaping and swinging all day. He is tired and so his mother carries him and he climbs onto her back. He holds on to her. At home, Appa, Akka and Tata take one look at bruised and muddy Satya and burst into laughter. So when he gets home, he looks so messy. He's been going crawling on the ground, jumping in the mud. With all this, he's fully covered in mud and he is dirty and messy and he's been hurt here and there. He's bruised a little bit, you know, little scratches here and there he's got and he looks like a mess. And so everybody laugh at him. Tata bathes him. Appa cooks him dinner. Akka tells him his favorite story as he falls asleep. So his family takes care of Satya. His grandfather cleans him up. He bathes him and his father cooks him dinner, which he is so happy to eat because he's been running all day, moving. And so now he is hungry. And so he eats up. And then when he is falling asleep, his sister tells him his favorite story. In his dreams, Satya runs and jumps and spins and rolls. He's dreaming at night about all the different ways he has moved during the day. and flies away. So in your dreams, you can do whatever you want, including something you could not do in the daytime when you're awake. And so Satya dreams about flying away. So you saw the different ways in which Satya moves. There are also animals and birds and insects that move in different ways for different reasons. Let's read some more about that. How do they move? Oh, the way Satya moves. Did you know that animals, birds and insects also move in many different ways and for different reasons. Like us, they move mainly to find delicious food, a cozy home and a warm family. Some of them also move to escape from being caught and eaten by other animals. Find out how some of these creatures move. So animals, birds and insects also move in many different ways and there are different reasons why they move like that. Really everybody wants good food, a warm and cozy home, and sometimes you also run away when somebody, some other animal is chasing you to catch and eat you. So let's see how these creatures move. Dolphins are famous for how they leap out of water. Can you leap? Cheetahs are the fastest land animals. They can run really fast and sprint too, especially when they hunt. Can you sprint? 
So dolphins are a type of animal that live in water. They live in the ocean and they leap. They can jump. Can you leap? Cheetahs, on the other hand, live on land and they are the fastest animals on land. They can run very fast. If they see a deer and they want to hunt the deer and eat it, if, if it's just a short distance away, they speed up very fast to catch up to the deer and kill it. So imagine that you are trying to get to school on a school bus and the school bus is just a short distance away. Then what do you do? You run really fast to catch it, right? That is a sprint. Crabs can walk sideways. Can you walk sideways? Grasshoppers can jump really high, especially when they want to escape from being eaten. Can you jump really high? Snails crawl slowly, very, very slowly. Can you crawl slowly? So how do crabs move? They walk sideways. They don't walk straight like you and I do. And grasshoppers, they move differently. They jump. And why do they jump? That's when they want to escape from being caught and eaten, they jump very high. And snails move also differently from all these other animals. They crawl, they move with their body close to the ground and they are very, very slow in moving. Can you move in all these ways? I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are hop, move by short, quick jumps, sprint, run very fast, crawl, move on hands and knees with the body close to the ground. Centipede, a small creature with a long body and many legs. Slither, move by twisting and sliding on a surface. Leap, jump from a surface. Paddle, move hands and feet about in shallow water. Soar, fly at great height. Glide, move smoothly and without effort. Try these questions. What are the different ways in which Satya moves? Think about all the ways you move. Write about some of them and why you move a certain way to do a certain task.